Hey guys, how's the weather up there? This is Bowser in 64. Have you ever installed FlashMe on your DS Lite and had this number happen to you? No power on at all except for a green light. Nothing on screen, all that jazz. No problem! There's a fix for that. There's a couple things you can do. You see, fail safe code is written into your DS firmware at the time when FlashMe is installed. It's located in the first few bricks of firmware that you install with FlashMe. And in case something gets corrupted, you can usually do start select and power on, get to your flashcard menu. This doesn't always work. It only works sometimes on a good day when the temperature is precisely 86 degrees Fahrenheit. Just kidding. Anyway, the point is, it just doesn't work very well. So, see, usually that'll take me to my flashcard menu, but I think it has something to do with the RAM is all junked up and stuff, because I tried this a little bit recently for my failed videos before this one. All right, so the other, the other thing you can do is press Start, Select, and B and A on your DS, and then try to power on. That doesn't work either, see? Okay, so your only other option, don't fret, is to take a new DS BIOS mother chip board chip and uh, install that in your DS right here and replace the BIOS in your Nintendo DS Lite. Uh, this sounds complicated, but it's really pretty simple. You're going to need, one, a uh, tri-wing screwdriver. You can buy these at DealExtreme.com. They're pretty cheap. You're going to need a small Phillips head screwdriver. You can also buy these pretty easily online. A tray to put all of your screws in once you take apart your DS Lite. A pin to pry apart the various components of your DS Lite. A replacement DS Lite motherboard or a replacement DS Lite BIOS chip. Okay, which is that thing with the foam on it that I'm rubbing. Alright, so first you want to turn the DS over. Remove the game from the Game Boy Advance slot if you have one. I'm going to place it over there. Okay. Remove your flashcard from DS1. Slot 1 if you have one. Hey, that rhymes. And next you're going to want to undo your battery cover here. Where there's a screw right here that you need to unscrew with your Phillips head screwdriver. So we can get that up here. Just undo that. Okay, we're going to get the pin, insert it right there, and uh, raise the battery cover off the DS. Just put it over there, you won't need it for a while. Next, you're going to want to pry out your Nintendo DS Lite's battery. This is pretty simple, you just use the pin. Take that out, put it on the battery cover. All right. So now there's a screw right here you need to undo with your Phillips head screwdriver, so we're going to get down into that one and just undo it. Okay. Now you're going to need your tri-wing screwdriver. You're going to need to undo, undo a screw here. And here. Okay, then there's another one over here, so we're going to undo that. Okay, and then there's another screw over here somewhere, right there. Apologies for the poor video quality at this close angle, but this is all I have, so live with it. Alright, now... I stripped out one of the tri-wing screw um, things here, so I'm going to have to just unscrew this with a Phillips head screwdriver because I replaced this particular hole with a uh, Phillips head screw. Alright, so we should be good to go. Next, don't avoid this. You can break your DS light cover if you don't pay attention to the screw here. It's always black and it's always blending in 
so you can't see it very easily. So try wing screw right here next to the DS in the game slot. At slot one, you just take that out and you're good to go. Now turn your DS over, tap it lightly until lots of screws fall out. Wow, that worked pretty well. I'm impressed. Now just take all the screws, put them in your tray there so you don't lose them. And then we're good to go for the next few steps of the video. Alright. This is really risky. Alright. So to get the DS open, you want to take the stylus out. And you're going to want to basically put your two, your index finger here and your pinky here, push down on the L and R buttons, and pull up on this part of the DS shell. Okay, and then to get this undone here, you're going to want to get your fingernail underneath these, this little lip here see where the silver part is there's a little lip there you want to get your fingernail under and you're just going to pull up gently and it comes right off sometimes the L and R button contacts will pop out you know the little spring loaded buttons if those pop out just don't worry you just have to go have fun finding the parts over again and I present to you the inside of your DS light this is the soul of your DS Lite, people. You gotta be careful of what you do here, because what you do here determines how your DS will operate for the rest of its life. Okay, so I'm gonna let you stare at that a moment. Where do you think the BIOS chip is? Is it this? Nope, that's the volume control. Is it this? Nope, that's the game card slot for Game Boy Advance games. Is it this? No, that's the touchscreen. Is it this? No, that's the headphone port. Is it this? Well, that's RAM, I think. Is it this? Okay, you get the picture. It's this. See the thing with the foam on top? That's what your BIOS card looks like. So we're just going to get the Phillips head screwdriver here. And we're going to insert it next to the tin part of your DS game card slot. Uh, assembly there and I don't know if you can see it that's the microphone cable that's plugged into the DS Lite just like this see how that wi black wire runs from there to there I'm touching it right now so you just want to remove that connector and you'll be able to take your BIOS chip off the motherboard and replace it with the one that works so just insert it really carefully it's best to do it like this get the screw under there and just pry really carefully until you get it off dum bum bum dum ba da ba bum da 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 Da, 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 da. There we go. I have no idea what that song was. It's just something I made up on the moment. So there you go. Your DS BIOS um, chip is free. Now just turn the DS light around. And you want to put your index finger and thumb on the... Put the thumb on the bottom side of the BIOS chip. And the index finger on the top. And just gently pry back and forth. This part right here is glued down to your DS Lite motherboard with some sticky adhesives. It, the little bit of care and TLC you'll be able to get it off of there without damaging anything so just want to be really careful there. Okay we just got it unplugged from the connectors there. There we go. And I present to you your Nintendo DS Lite BIOS chip. And this thing looking so awesome right now. This is the one that doesn't work. This is the corrupted one that I uh, just dropped. 
well, we don't need it anymore. You know, it, it doesn't work anyway, so what the heck. Um, anyway, I corrupted this BIOS chip by installing FlashMe only partially, and I shorted out my circuit and, well, not really. It just shut off the DS and it didn't write all the firmware, so my DS is, like, broken with that BIOS chip in there. So we're going to take the one off of our backup motherboard take it off just like we explained how to get it off here earlier and we're, you see those little things right there let me help point see that little thing you can't see it but those are little ridges and you just insert your BIOS into those ridges a lot like a cartridge for the N64 or something like that and uh, yeah so I don't know which one of these BIOS cards works because I just put them together and uh, I guess it doesn't work. This is a demonstration video. Wait. The one that works is the one that has the stuff closed in right there. See how that's not open? On this BIOS chip, that's open. So this is the working one. <sighs> Man, I'm telling you, church is the best food ever. All right. So we're just going to plug it in there really carefully. Just push it down until it fits. Okay, now it's installed on your DS Lite motherboard, but not completely. It's only half installed. You want to take your microphone cable, and you have to line that up with that little hole there. That little gold terminal has a, a little pin inside it that needs to go inside the pin on the corresponding half of this cable. So you're going to want to just put it in there until you line it up. And this is really hard to video. Dum -ba -bum -bum. Oliver, Oliver, never before has a boy wanted more. Oliver. Alright. This is not working. This is hard part people these little components I'm telling ye alright so you just push down once you get it on the little s cylinder there you just push down and it's installed okay so once it's installed you want to move the microphone cable over just a little tiny bit just like that you don't want to stress it too much these cables are fragile now you're going to want to move the shell over there, the motherboard over here. And all you need to do when you replace your motherboard, uh, put the shell back on your motherboard, you need to make sure the volume slider is always to the right of the slot there. Because if you look, I can give you a detailed look here. You see a little nodule right there? you can't but that's the volume slider you need to put it all the way to the right okay also you want the power switch thing to be all the way down towards you when you put this in this helps everything fit right on without any questions asked so you just press it on and it should go on no problems sometimes it'll pop don't worry you're not damaging anything and now we're just going to reinstall all the screws again You're done, people. That's right. You just replaced your DS BIOS. Are you happy or what? If it doesn't work, well, that only means that you have a bad BIOS chip. But this should work. Also, I found a place online you can buy replacement motherboards for, like, I don't know, what is it? Maybe $19? So, yeah, it's pretty cool. So, we're just going to pause the video here until we get all the screws back in. They cut, they are inserted right back in the way they came out, so it's pretty self-explanatory. Alright, so once you get the cover back on, you're going to want to put in your DS game slot um, flash card again to your DS game slot 1. Carefully. You're going to want to put in your Game Boy Advance card slot 2. Turn on your DS and everything should work like it did before you installed FlashMe and all that junk happened to your DS Lite.
So we're going to load up our M5 here. We own all these games we have. Going to get over to King Labdris and say we want to boot uh, New Super Mario Brothers. And it works. So it's loading the game. Come on, dude. Can you load faster than this? And your games work. So thanks for watching, comment and rate, and congratulations on replacing your Nintendo DS BIOS chip.